we are sewing at the development block. Brad's favourite toy had a flat tyre, so he's stuck on that for the minute while I get a few spray jobs done. Hey guys, it's Matt here. Welcome to the channel. Lovely day again, and it looks like we're dry enough to be sowing. I'll do a bit of spraying today uh, to keep ahead of the planter while Brad's free to be on the planter. So we'll see how that all works out. So I thought I'd uh, show you the reason why Brad is on the planter and not carting rock. So I think it's one of those situations where it had a crack in it and it wasn't going to be repairable anyway and we needed to get it to hard ground because the truck that we would be coming to fix it wouldn't be able to get to where we were carting the rock. So just have to, have to cut your losses and hope for the best. While we're here, we'll have a look at where we're clearing a bit of that country. Um, that was regrowth and yeah, I'll be able to get some drone footage hopefully fill on the 280 there it's been running nice since we put the new head on it yeah he's got the small offset discs on that and yeah just going through chomping up a bit of the grass and smaller roots and bringing up a few things just so we know what we got there um, and then it'll all be stick picked and whatnot but i'm just about to throw the drone up and we should be able to get a good look at what's going on there Although while well, there's a little bit of daylight left, we'll go out and have a have a dig, see if we can find some seed. There's one just there. There he is. So that is that's probably close on two inches that one, which is probably a bit deep for what we are wanting to do just at the minute but this is the softer soil so thing is you need to dig every every couple of couple of meters really to get an idea of what's going on the soil changes that much around here there's another one so it was there so that one's probably closer to an inch so anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow um, I'll probably punch out another load of spray and then I'll probably get on the planter. But yeah, that plan might change. We'll see how close I am. Well, it's another beautiful day. That should be getting fixed today. Just gonna top up the uh, cat here with a bit of fuel. It's had uh, been topped up with seed and fertilizer and hopefully Brad's checked it over, but we'll top her up with fuel and then it'll be ready to go. Oh, no, 
all filled up. How are you feeling without your dump truck, Brad? It's sad. I've lost all. Your Tonka toy's down, eh? No, I can't plant the sand anymore. I've got yeah. to go and do some real work. Yeah, what's it like doing a bit of farm work for once? Yeah, the old tyre, there's not much left of it. I tried to get it back, yeah. <laughs> oh, at least didn't damage the rim, hopefully. No, that's right. <laughs> Righto, we all, all set right. then, eh? Yeah, we're ready to go. It is on, on a fair angle though, so it will be just above the low mark. I'll have to put some in that. other news this tractor is back um, so you might have noticed that it's been missing for a couple of weeks or maybe longer I'm not sure um, the original plan was this tractor would be on the rock picker just a bit more heavy duty than the Deutz and they do a little bit more it's got a heavier front end loader on it but we were using it for a little bit and then it had a fault code come up um, basically and it would limit the speed to like I don't know 1k or something and uh yeah basically unusable so what it turned out to be was the brake pads which are inside the transmission i believe um were worn out so i mean it's got over 9,000 hours on it so it's obviously they're going to wear out eventually but it had to get taken to town and they they did it in there and um yeah and it just came back today so it is back ready to use we've been yeah been missing that extra tractor Poor old JX has been doing doing some pretty big stuff. So it looks like we've got the new tyre back on this one. And I think the tyre fitters have been a little bit funny. A good spare.
night time for a stint on the planter. Um, it's going pretty good. We're doing about 10, a bit over 10 k's downhill. And then on the way back up, it's probably about 8 k's. Um, just, yeah, she's a bit harder pulling uphill, obviously. It's got the odd rock. Not too bad. So I've probably got another three hours tonight, I think. And then I think Brad's going to come out in the morning and continue on. Anyway, we'll see what happens then. We're back at the development block on this fine morning. I think Brad's holding off his urges to get back on the dump truck. And I think he's going to stay on the planter while I try and finish off this spraying. So I've only got two loads to do. Um, which, yeah, I think I should be done maybe a little bit after lunch. Now, I should have air conditioning uh, today because last night it was a bit, it was a bit dark to really film anything, but um, what I had to do was this, com the compressor, it's a bit of an afterthought on these machines, but it's actually mounted to the chassis and I had to modify a bit because I didn't quite have the right belt, but um, so I got that bit flipped around, but uh, yeah, still works. Uh, but yeah, I had to pull that off, bend the bracket a bit because it was kinked that way and just shift it forward. Um, yeah, because the belt wasn't lining up properly. So that's a lot better now. Right, I'm about halfway through this last paddock. I think there's only 45 hectares on this, this patch. Uh, we've got Joe Sai here. He's been on the rock picker, uh, tidying up a few of these little areas. And yeah, it's been doing a really nice job. You can see the odd rock still, but um, all of these areas were just covered in rocks, so you can see how nice they've come up. With a, a bit of a cultivation and uh, maybe a Kelly chain, they just smooth right out and uh, you wouldn't know. Right, we're on the way back to the shed. We're finished for the minute. Uh, we've done 468 hectares. So it's taken, oh, the first two days, I only did two loads, um, whereas yesterday and today I've done three loads. So about four days, I'm not pushing too hard, but what I've got to do is basically tomorrow, I've got to start spraying where it's been sown. So it's one thing that can be a little disheartening. You, you finish your job and then you just got to go back and do it again, but uh, it's all for a good cause. Another bit of an update, what else is going on? is we've got Johnny doing a little bit of prickle chaining. Um, he's on that New Holland tractor, so yeah, I think that might be just to help smooth things out. And it might flick up a few sticks and things too that can be got. Looks like the rock picker's been disconnected. And they might be just using that with a 4 in bucket to uh, lift up some of the sticks and rocks and things. So. Uh, yeah, it's really coming along that, that bit of land that's been cleared. Basically, what that was like a few days ago was, apart from the, the trees there, it's basically like that. It was just thick grass, there was yeah, sticks and all sorts there, so it's certainly come a long way and it's really good. It looks like behind Johnny there, it looks like Phil's still on the offsets. So they're, they're working magic, so it's very much worth all the effort put into them. It's just helping to chomp up all the grass and smooth everything out, bring up the sticks, chomp up some of the smaller sticks. It's just doing a real good job. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna go and get some trucks for Brad so he can fill up, and then I don't know whether I'm going on that for the minute or what's going on. We'll find out soon enough. Well guys, it's my turn on the planter. Uh, it's, I'm probably gonna run this load out tonight, so that might be 10 or 11 o'clock. And then tomorrow, Brad will get going on this again, and I'll probably be spraying uh, where we've already sown again. So, a bit of deja vu. But for the minute, I'm gonna enjoy the sun setting, and hopefully have an uneventful evening. So we'll leave the video for there for the minute. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next one.